Hello friends, I am going to teach you about the file I have we used in the lab view. First we will create a blank VI. Okay. So basically what is file I have? file input and output operation retrieve information from and store information in the disk file so whatever data we have in another file we can get the data from that file and we can uh, receive and read the data that is there in the file so file input output vi uh, depends on the different file formats that is available in that and uh, we'll see here that uh, uh, for going into file IO, we have to go into functions, get into file IO, and uh, here you will find the different types of file IO spreadsheet file, read spreadsheet, write measurement, read measurement, file constant, write text file. So, for writing this, we have uh, got different file formats, they are basically binary file format, ASCII file format. LVM file format and uh, TDM file format. Here you can see we have got LVM file format, binary TDM file format. So uh, this LVM file format is nothing but the lab view measurement file format. So it's all about the data it's stored in that file and uh, with the LVM file format you can also know the date and time of the data which is stored in it. Uh, uh, you, LVM file you can also open with the spreadsheet file format. Uh, TDM file format you can open. Uh, TDM file format is specific type of binary file created for the national instruments. So uh, now we'll go into the file for file IOs. Uh, we have got three types of file IOs. This is a lower level. Uh, this one which we have got is the high level file IO. Here you can write to the spreadsheet. You can write your, you can read your file into the spreadsheet. You can write the measurement file which you have measured into the directly into the .lvm format. And here, uh, whatever data you have written in the file, you can read that, uh, measure that data whatever that's in the file. So this is completely that high level file I/O. And uh, this one part starting from this open create here here this all is a low level file IO this low level file IO here we can uh, give options to the file like open the file close the file format into the file scan from file read from binary file write to binary file we have also got options like write text to file read text from the file if uh, we have created any uh, notepad or text file then we can read that file we can build the part for the file and uh, after that there are advanced file functions in advanced file functions you'll get many options related to the uh, file like uh, get the size of the file how many bytes the uh, file sizes get the file position then you can also set the file size set the type and creator of the file size you can delete, you can copy, you can move, you can uh, you can do everything whatever you want with the file, with your get type, get file size. So now we'll start our, so we'll start with one uh, uh, simple ex uh, experiment, say let me say practical. Uh, so we'll create a numeric of numeric values and write into the file using this uh, using write lab view measurement file and uh, the same file we are going to read using the read lab view measurement file and display the contents of it in the array indicator and also display the file created and read so we have got this from the functions palette uh, Right, lab view file. So we are to will now create one array, and uh, we can also create an array over here. We'll create one array, 
and we will take numeric control in it and little bit stretch. you can select the input whatever input you want we'll take the signals and don't want this so we'll remove this input we want the array we want to read the array the file so now the array is created we now we'll enter the values we have entered the values into the array now we are uh, going to provide the file path where it will be created and uh, so here uh, you can create that first you have to select the this path so we are going to get this path in that you have to select text based LVM file so here your this file is created it's named as test.lvm you can create your file then we have to read this file so for reading also we'll go to file io and here this we are going to is high level so read measurement file here also we are going to select this text lvm only and Hit OK. So we got the signals. Here we'll create an output. Okay. A bit lazy kind of thing. It will change it into control. Oh, sorry, indicator. So our created and now we have to give the file name input we have to select one because we have to read that file name so we'll select go to here and we'll select one file name. select one in output file also so signals is connected here and we are now going to do the file name out we got the file path here and uh, this path we are going to connect with the input file name so this is going to uh, take the file path and this from this the same file what we will we are going to get this here it will read this file and uh, uh, accordingly we'll get the output over here in the array 3 so this is what you have to see the name of the file also so this is ready we have given one array of inputs to the uh, to the right measurement file so it will write and we'll get the path of that file then this from the same path we'll read that file and uh, we'll put it into another array so now we'll run the program so here we have entered one two three four five the same output we got here one two three four five four three and we also got uh, this file name what is that path we got from here so this was our first practical uh, writing into measurement and uh, reading from the file measurement file so here only we will now we'll create another practical will now create one uh, what we are going to use is go to file io and now we are going to use both 
this is uh, this one is the uh, what we say low level file IO we are going to use first we use this high level file IO now we are going to use this uh, low level file IO what we are going to do is read from a text file what we have made and we are going to get the size of the text file so for that we are going to use advanced level file IO so we will go to this get file size so what it's going to do is it's going to read the uh, text from the text file which we have created and it's going to show me the data of this over here so we'll select this uh, we'll give an input I got the file so now we'll go here on the desktop I have already created one text file so we can see here it's a new one yes I have created this text file you can see the size of the file is 14 bytes and the new one it is so we'll select that path so here we have the input and now we have to read this text file so we are going to create one indicator over here sorry text I got the indicator over here so here you can read the text whatever is this written in the file and now we are going to get the size of the file so we are going to connect this to the this is going to receive the file and we are going to get that output over here size of the file create go to indicator so here we are going to get the size of the file and uh, this will indicate the text whatever it is written in the file so now we'll run the program yes we got here is the text of the file size of the file 14 bytes whatever we uh, read there and uh, this is a text which I have written in that file so now what we'll do we'll just do this we'll go to new one we'll change here save this file okay now we'll run again we'll check whatever it does yes you can see so quite big file you can you can see enjoying making video tutorial so this way you can take a file, take the path of the file, read from the file and you'll know the size of the file, uh, whatever you are going to read from that file. So this is it, hope you understood everything about file.io and this is all from my side so last we'll save this. So that's it for today. Thank you.